Um, with prayer first. Dear Father, we thank you so much that we can come together and enjoy fellowship and food and some of the knowledge that you've provided for us to understand what things are better for our body. Please be with us tonight. Send your Holy Spirit to guide and direct. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, so I'm going to kind of do this a little bit different than I usually do. Usually we do kind of the, the demonstration part at the end. I'm going to kind of introduce you to all this that's up here as part of my demonstration because um, Harold, at the end of spring last year, had sent me a thing about meals in a bowl. And I thought, oh, that would be a fun topic to do. So I did a little more research and he sent me a few more links. And... Um, it's been a really interesting adventure through this process, and you'll find that you have a whole lot of different recipes in your little packets when you get into them. So what goes into a bowl? Because a bowl is supposed to be a complete meal with everything in it that you need in a meal and what your body needs. So you start with grains or noodles. And so we have, today we have... Um, coconut lime rice. These in the front are egg noodles. These are rice noodles. So you start with that as your base. Gives you a little bit of carbs. Carbs are not totally bad, even though people like to tell you carbs are bad. Carbs are not bad. Um, so you start with that, and then you add a protein. Now, proteins come in lots of sorts. Um, today, we have a tofu that's my recipe, which is a curry one, and if you want to know how that one's made, I'll get you that recipe because it comes out of my head. It's not a made recipe. Um, this little one here is actually in one of your recipes, and so is this one, which is a plain one. This one has a sauce that's put on it. Beans are a good source of protein, so are soybeans or edamame, as they like to call them, because people think that sounds better. Um, <laughs> Those are all protein sources. Chickpeas are good protein sources. And I think I hear Elaine coming in. Do I hear Elaine and Carol? Yay! Grab a table. So the second part that you're going to put in is going to be your proteins. Now you can use proteins that come in a can that are vegetable protein things. I didn't put any of those out there today because they aren't my favorite things. I only use them for certain dishes that I make. Um, and this would not be one of them. Um, but there is tempeh and seton. Seton is basically a gloomy. Tempeh is a little bit different. It has more grain in it. It's not one of my favorite things either, but they are good protein sources if you like them. Then you go to leafy greens, and we have romaine lettuce and we have spinach today. We also have um, some purple cabbage for the crunch. One of the things about bowls, they talk about bowls, is you should have a combination of flavors and textures. In other words, you don't want everything mushy, and you don't want everything crunchy, because then you just think you're eating a salad. And <laughs> so you want some mixture of, of textures and flavors in there. So any leafy green, leafy greens are really good. We're going to talk about those when we get to our other stuff later. Um, and then veggies, any type. They can be cooked or they can be raw, so we've got some cooked mixed vegetables and some cooked corn, but then the rest of the vegetables that we have out here um, are actually, and then tomatoes and avocados I think are actually considered fruit, not vegetables, but anyway, um, they're all fresh, so those give you your, some more crunch and some more textures to what you're doing. Then you're going to add whatever your sauce is. It can be as simple as balsamic vinegar and oil which is what's in there. You want to shake it before you take the lid off and use it, if that's what you want to try. Or um, your favorite homemade dressing that you might like. Or there's um, a peanut sauce, which is this one. Actually, it'll good. There's two recipes for peanut sauce in there. I did one of them and not the other. I didn't do the one that's on, I think it's the tofu bowl recipe. Um, this one is a cilantro and cashew dressing. It's kind of yummy. And this one is almond butter and lime. Mm. And then there's salsa. And then to top off, 
you put a little bit of crunchies on top. So we have pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds. We have hemp hearts, which um, are a good source of protein, actually. Um, crushed peanuts, slivered almonds, and these little guys, I think it's cute because they call them papitas, but they're sunflower, they're pumpkin seeds. But these are chili lime ones, so they have a little bit of spice on them if you want to add a little bit more spice to whatever you're eating. And then because um, we're going to be talking about recipes for low cholesterol and recipes for helping uh, prevent osteoporosis, we have <coughs> some recipes that came off of that information, and you'll see when we talk about that information that where that came from. We have some black bean and spinach enchiladas. Yes, Lorraine, come on, kick it out. Excuse me, I'm going to come over here because, because I have to read this. Because I did um, black bean brownies, and they're vegan, for those of you that are vegan. Um, these are spiced oatmeal and raisin, orange oatmeal and raisin cookies. And these are, these were kind of fun to make, and thank you to Deneen for topping them off for me. These are um, chocolate and peanut butter chia pudding, and then it has bananas and pineapple and coconut on top. They actually call that breakfast. I would think dessert, so it's over there. <laughs> but um, so that's what we have to try, and I'm going to have you go ahead and dish up whatever sounds good to you. Um, think about your your flavors as you're putting things together. Um, and if you eat one bowl and you're still hungry, you can come back and make yourself another one and try a different combination. But the idea is, the recipes that you'll look at are set recipes. And I've taken some ingredients from one recipe and some ingredients from the other, and some that kind of go through all the recipes and put them all out here, kind of like a salad bar in the, of sorts, for you to put together. But remember that you want your grains, you want your protein, you want your leafy greens, and you want some vegetables. Then from then on, you're just adding what you're going to add your flavors in them if you want to mix with them. And there's hot water there, and I will get some regular water out too because I forgot to put some out if somebody just wants water. Chris, did you get your shot of food while I was talking about it? Kind of. Go get it before we start. Okay. Before we get it all messed up. Okay.